welcome to another episode of Wheel Check. And we've got some, the last time you're going to see my Riverside R101s because they're going off to Saudi Arabia. Um, we've also got, we've got the lips coming off my Yamako Racing 6. And we've got a few more deliveries to look at. Here we go. These are the Riverside R101s. So they're 14 inch, 14 by 11. ET3 in the rear and 14 by 8.5 minus 9 up front. So they've all the caps. Then we've got a, uh, like a, it's a brushed, brushed lips with a lacquered that's been lacquered over so it's easy to maintain, just let you just wipe any dirt off. And the centers are like a candy red. When there's no sunlight, they go. They're quite dark. It's easy to easy to miss. It's quite subtle. And then, as soon as the sun comes out, we can put the, uh, the flash on. But yeah, it comes out a lot more. The red just pops. So yeah, very cool wheels. I've run them on the Sleeker for quite a few years now. So it's just like time for a change. Had a little wheel delivery. So first up, we've got these uh, equipped spinnings. These are 15s, which I've never seen a 15. It looks so bizarre to me where I've just been handling 14s for the last how many years. But they've actually got the same face size as a 14. They're just uh, like stepped up lips. You can see the gully in here, way bigger than usual. But yeah. Very strange seeing that. Faces look small in them. But yeah, I'm gonna, I've got a pair of these. So I'm gonna clean them up and re relip them. I'll probably go to like eight and a half, nines, nine and a half maybe, depending on what lips I can get. But yeah, nice little project. So they'll be done. Next up we've got a pair of Toms. I get her, I get her, however you say it. Not too sure, but uh, yeah, these are six and a half, and this is six. I've got uh, another pair coming in the same spec. So there, you can see the Tom's logo. Yeah, nice looking wheel, and these these look quite good on A86s and obviously any Toyotas. These are the 114.3, so wait for the other ones to come, and then they'll be fully refurbished. They're in good nick, other one, you know, just missing a bit of paint and stuff. So not too bad. And then we move on to these little cuties. So uh, these are all 10 inch. I'm not sure why I've started collecting 10 inch wheels, but uh, <laughs> I have. They're just they're just unbelievably cute. And to get Japanese wheels in this small, it's just hilarious, especially when you pick one up because it weighs absolutely nothing. So uh, <laughs> this is a an SSR FL2. Looks similar to the Mark II. But similar, but slightly different, you know, more pronounced edges all the way down rather than the sloping bit and the center cap bits. Slightly more ugly, but pretty cool. I think this is a 10 by, 10 by 5, 10 by 5 or 6. Can't remember now. Oh, we see. Yeah, 10 by 6. So, uh, you see the old Speed Star logo. Speed or Star. Yes. I sound an idiot when I talk Japanese, but there you go. Bit of a curbing to clean up, easily done. So polish that up and uh, make it look a bit nicer. Had that collection. Apologies if I sound a bit ill, I'm not feeling too great at the moment, so I'm gonna do a bit of mouth breathing. Okay. So these are Jilba R10s, maybe Rio, but more likely R10 makes sense being. 10 inch wheels and they use an R10 tyre. So these are Speedstar. So it's weird because these are nothing like the, uh, you know, the Jilbers in the bigger size, which are Spokey Boys. These ones are more like the Bushino Impul up there. Kind of that design, but even cooler, I think. I think where these taper off a bit more and just the circular bolt holes are really cool because the uh, impulse have this little square clamp. 
it's time to take these uh, racing six apart. <clears throat> so the uh, hardware taken out. Um, we're gonna do some more cutting. So uh, get the grinder out, another incision on the weld, and take the lip off. Yes. As you saw, they're being cut off now. Got a clean job, so I haven't even cleaned them up yet with the flapping disc, but uh, yeah, pretty sweet. And then we've got some shiny lips to go on. Whoa. There we are, pretty good. So we've got this, these are the original rears, so they've got, looks weak as hell now, <laughs> but uh, it did look like quite a nice bit of dish. Obviously, I've only just sanded it lightly just to clean it up. But uh, the lip does the lip design's almost identical on the new lip to the old lip. So these will go on the front. Hopefully, maybe I might have to run a little spacer on them just to push them out a little bit more because they're only seven and a half. But they are minus eight, so that's why it's quite it's got a decent amount of dish. But obviously, these are pretty big in comparison. So you can see here. The lips aren't actually big enough, so I need to get the machined out a bit. To, so they've only got this amount of inner kind of lip there where they sort of bolts on. So it's not too far off. It's probably about, I don't know, six mil or something. So I just need six mil mil enough for them to fit on. And then uh, I'll get them welded up. What I'm going to do is uh, satin black them. So this will have to come off because it's, it's just some crappy paint that's on there. So we get some satin black on there, and then we get them diamond cut. So on. Okay. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Look really good. Very cool wheels. Just a, just a shame they're not more concave. But uh, once it's in there, you can't really see it. But yeah, really cool center caps. Uh, I actually made the stickers because uh, these are just XR4 caps. It's really weird that uh, like they're Enki made wheels but they use the XR4 caps. Strange, a lot, of, a lot of sharing going on. And actually these nuts, these hardware, they're the original style. So they're actually, these are bolts and the nuts are on the back and then they've got this washer underneath. They're actually out of my um, set of Dunlops I had because these originally came with uh, no hardware and these have more bolts than the Dunlops. So I actually used two sets of Dunlops to uh, sacrifice the hardware for these just to get them more original which is pretty geeky but yeah there was in the details so they clean up nice i'm not obviously not going this is like thousand grit thousand grit and then a little bit of polished which i like it's not too shiny again you guys know me i don't like it too too shiny like these equips are just too much <laughs> i might have to leave them outside for a winter but uh, yeah, awesome, stoked. Oh, and uh, some exciting news. I recently won two more Techno Phantoms. So, really excited about that. I just need one more Techno Phantom. It's really weird. Like, these are these wheels that you just never think you're going to own because they're just stupid expensive. And then just, just things work out. Yeah, you know. I did a good deal for this one and then the other pair I won for about 80,000 yen which is and they've been going for about 100,000 yen at least for a pair and I just got them for the start bid so yeah pretty stoked about that really cool wheel they come with caps as well so I've got a full set of caps but they're all going to need to re -lip in. even this HJ the lips a bit buggered over here and uh, the barrels also like an egg so they'll come off new barrels new lips I think I'll probably go like 10j 9j or something with those because uh, yeah 
They're keepers. Had another wheel delivery. So, start off some sprint heart. These are just some 14 by 6, 4 by 100. So, they'll probably end up on a Civic or something. Uh, we've got some Toms. These are 4 by 100 again, but these are 14 by 5.75. So, weird width. <laughs> But four by hundred would be handy for someone. You know, it could make a make good match match pair. You never know. Uh, single long champ. That's uh, lips a bit bendy, so it'll probably come off that. Uh, reuse that as spares. Use the spare barrel and face or something. We've got a pair of Impul Pro Mesh. These are fourteen by seven point five. Lowish offset. Not too bad. Quite nice. Uh, just need to look tidy up and look clean up. And uh, I've got a set of caps of these. I've got another pair as well, actually. I've got a pair that's uh, the lips probably need changing them, really. They've had a hard life. So I'll probably make those eight and a half and then pair them up with these seven and a halves to make a set. So I've got my 10 by 6 inside the. Uh, 14 by 11 and a half. Uh, we've got some Mugen MR5. These have grown on me actually. Like I always thought these were one of the ugliest wheels. Uh, they look good for center caps in. Just about to see it. But I've got a pair of those. They're, they're up for sale. Uh, these are two piece. And they, they bolt in. Old oh, sticker there. Pretty cool, not bad condition, just uh, showing their age a little bit. Um, just picked these up from, from the dippers, so these have been acid dipped. So I'm gonna ready for, I'm gonna take all the bolt hardware out, get some new hardware. I'm gonna spray the uh, crosses black, polish the lips, and then I shall get them diamond cut. I've not had these diamond cut before, so. It should look pretty cool. And then I just got a paint in the logo. Paint that in. So they make a nice little pair. Hopefully uh, they sell quite easy. We've got a uh, SSR Star Formula Mesh. And this wheel, it's quite a newish wheel. I think it's a 2006 wheel. So it's quite new. It looks, the face looks slightly different. It's a bit more squarish on the sides here. But it's in really good nick. You can see it looks very new inside. That's it. Just six and a half B type. But yeah, looks pretty tidy. Good looking mesh. I really like them in uh, silver. The set I had before was silver with gold caps, so they're quite smart. The actual cap was silver rather than black, and then the the silver part was gold, look quite smart. And we've got an AME 781. This is uh, the third one I've got. I've got a pair of red ones. I think they look the best in red, really cool. But yeah, so I've got another one to add to the collection. Original cap as well, but sadly it's been boofed. I might be able to straighten that out a little bit. But yeah, not as keen on the gold. Needs a bit of paint. And I've got another 14 by 9 ET minus 20 long uh, SSR Mark II. So I've had this one a while. This is one I've had that was PCD 4x120. So I've had it welded up plugged and welded so that needs machining and it cutting out and this one just happened to be I got it for a decent price quite cheap and it's a 4x113 oh my god I can't speak 4x113 it's late at night here <laughs> and I'm knackered but yeah I cleaned cleaned up the lips on these 
he said, a little bit of curbing on him. But love the original old Anadolis finish. That kind of satin silver. Really cool. Just looks really authentic. I think someone's rattle canned these, so I'm going to get the thinners on them. Get all that black off their face. And I just got to decide what centre colour to go to. I really do like the uh, the orange. The original orange is really cool. But uh, Keith in Canada, he's got orange Mark II's on his Celica. Which looks great, but, you know, I want to do something slightly different. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe just silver. Or, uh, but yeah, we shall see. So that's, yeah, that's this week's little shipment that's arrived. Yeah, plenty of work to do.